Do you want to know how to make some cool origami and crafts? Understand more about them? I can show you how to make some good crafts. Like paper and darts that can transform to boats that will actually work in water and are made out of wooden popsicle sticks, hot glue, and rubber bands. There are different crafts that can be made, and they are fun to make. I'm William Lim from RGMS, and I would like to thank you for watching. I will be teaching you about crafts and origami and even how to make them. First, I'll tell you about origami. Origami's origins are tracked down to Japan and China. Later, Jake Forbel helped spread origami. Japan started to introduce origami in schools, and German contributes to origami continued with the Edward School in Germany, which emphasized hands-on activities like Spanish author Miguel de Luna also spread origami and increased its popularity significantly. After World War II, origami was gaining popularity in the U.S. and or the Origami Center of America was founded in the 1950s and used in television to popularize it. In the 1980s, techniques in the United States became more advanced. For crafts, it became more popular from the arts and crafts movement. The arts and crafts movement started in the late 1800s and in, in the United Kingdom. William Morris helped with and influenced much of the movement. In the, in the U.S., the movement became craft, craftsman in the U.S. Charles and Henry Grease helped spread the popularity and the popularity of craftsman's architecture. Boston became the first city to make a society of arts and crafts. There are many different ways to make origami, including different materials. For origami, there are more common types of papers. Copy paper, construction paper, hard paper, card stock, tissue paper, and origami paper. Some common materials for crafts are wooden popsicle sticks, pom-poms, paper towel rolls, and paper plates. And those are just a few to name many. Origami isn't usually thought of as educational, but researchers find how origami helps in math, science, technology, engineering, and art, known as STEAM. Origami is used to solve tough problems like how artists and help engineers to find the correct foods for an airbag or to put in for medical concepts to foldable and plastic and solar panels. The crafts can help develop better motor skills and strengthen muscles and improve control. It enhances dexterity or skill, which is a skill at performing tasks, especially using hands. Engaging in activities related to arts and crafts from a very long age leads to a tremendous improvement in hand-eye coordination. This will help a child during late primary school years when she or he is facing out words or forming letters. Kids will also learn to appreciate art and culture across time and having them experience art design and crafts let them think about their own work and others work. Many types of crafts can be functional. Crafts can be for a certain function like pottery, and can be used as platters or can be used as utensils. Crafts made for function can also be fun fun fashion, can also be functional like hats, shoes, belts, and handbags, and more. Furniture crafts that can that are made of wood like tables, chairs, and counters can be used. Crafts can also have other functions such as holding utensils and when and used and can be make and can make the task easier, or can be made into sweaters or hangings. And now I'll show you how to make a craft and some origami. First get any piece of paper that has to be square, but I use a post-it note. Fold it in half, then unfold it and fold it in half on a different side. Then fold it in half diagonally on both sides. And now unfold it and then fold two of the corners that are adjacent into the center. And then fold it in half and then fold the back part down into there. And you should have a parallelogram. And then make sure to finalize it. And now you will need eight of these. And now start putting them together like this and fold in the tips into the other parallelograms. And then and you should keep doing this process until you have all eight in. The la and the last two are going to be the hardest to put in. So make sure you can try to figure out a way how to get them in. But it should start to look like this when you are putting in, when you put most of them in. And now to finish it, just fold in the flaps and and put it together. And now you have a paper ninja star. And yeah, it will be a bit tricky to put them in. So after you put them in, you can push them all of them into the center to make it perfect in shape like this so and then you can pull them apart to transform it so first get and get a piece of paper and make sure you're able to fold it half and then get another piece of paper to make it as a frame for the screen and leave the bottom area for where the keyboard and mouse pad would be 
need, you can also make a back cover, which can cover, but it's not needed. So now glue everything together, and but make sure to like leave that part open so that way you can slide in the screen if you want to change screens. So now glue everything together, and then you should have a laptop, well, and it would have a keyboard and a. So now you can write the mouse pad down, and you can make it however way you want, and then you can afford it, and that's how you have the laptop. Now for changing the screen, you can get your screen as to be slightly bigger so it can fit in. And, and then you can pull it back out. So now, make sure it fits in there and then that's to get pull it out. Now that you've seen how to make the paper ninja just throwing the paper laptop, I would like to show you some other crafts. This is the magic cube and it's able to be folded from a flat square into a cube. Also have another, uh, an origami envelope here, which you can actually put stuff in, but it has to be small. This is the wooden popsicle stick book that I made out of the popsicle stick, how to do it in Lumber Jane. It can actually go across even length, which I can show you. <laughs> and I will show you. Also, I have this star box, which was kind of hard to fold because I had to fold it first. And I can add a rubber band on to tie it up. We also have a golden card here, a swan paper plane, and a paper watch. Thank you for watching. Now I hope you know more about crafts and origami. And now you can even make the paper ninja stock and the paper laptop. Thank you for watching, everyone. Oh, it looks like.